My thing is, um, like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, is it better for the clicks if it's higher? Or is it better for the clicks right, if it's lower? Like, clicks. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's put a new hope in, in C tier. <laughs> <laughs> that would be I'm open. Uh, I'm open. I'm open. I'm open. I'm open. I'm Welcome open. to the the uh, first ever I'm open mini episode where um, we are all the the same size, but the episode itself is miniature in that we hope that it will be shorter than usual. Um, and also, it's not going to be about frisbee. Oh, because you know what? We're complex people, and we have a lot of things going on. Yeah. Um, and that thing is Star Wars Yay. and, and drinking. Yes, indeed. Indeed. This is all vodka. Kind of the best combination of things you can have. Mm-hmm. This is pee pee. <laughs> hey, who's drinking pee pee? Joe, what are you drinking? I'm drinking a wild little thing. I don't like it. All right. Sounds don't like it tastes us. like pee pee. So we're basically in the same boat. Yeah. I kind of wish it was a loose PP. Should I wear one of our shirts to sponsor our merch store? Or do it. The fact that I, does the fact that I mentioned it, like, is that enough? Our merch store. Yeah, we have a merch store. Sam, talk about our merch store. Um, we have a merch store. Should we go to it? Should we, should we show the people like what it looks like? No, no, no. (laughs) Why not? (laughs) Not right now. Ryan, you're about retention. <laughs> We're busy. What this is a this is a mini. It is a mini pod. episode. We're all tiny. If you want a shirt with Evan Lepler on it, you can buy it from us, and we'll we don't get have some time of the to plug things. This is a miniature episode. All right, all right, fuck it. All right, let's go. We're gonna we're gonna tier. What is this? Uh, Star Wars. Star yeah, Wars movies. Which, it's all. What is it's all that? the main 12? line? All the main no, lines, 11? Star Wars no, 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 it's it's eleven. It's yeah, it's all of them in the two standalones. Got it. Okay. Um. Yeah, we're gonna tier those. Let's go one by one. Let's, let's do it. Let's we're... do it. Kick it off. <laughs> Episode two. <laughs> Ooh, to me, this is to me, this is like this has a. I think this is the first Star Wars movie I actually watched. Like my parents had it on VHS. Uh huh. And I think this like, might. It's, it's not very good. Which is why I was gonna say C, just because I don't think it's a good movie, but yeah. it is the first movie I watched, it holds, which I think holds a special think, place for you. Yeah, which like saves it from D tier. Okay, that's my argument. Like it was the first one I think I've seen. Is this the one where is this the one with the guy with the line? He's like, "You want to buy some death sticks?" And then like yeah. Obi Wan's like. Uh, you want to rethink your life and go <laughs> the guy's like, yeah. I'm going to rethink my life. <laughs> That's, That's funny. funny. That is a funny line. Uh, yeah. It's got its moments. It, it also has its super boring moments. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's, it's a also largely way boring. too much Jar Jar. Yeah. Right? Well, yeah. not the most Jar Jar. So. It doesn't have the most, but it does have some, right? Or no? It's got some. This is the movie that they decided they were like, we need to start stepping away from Jar Jar, <laughs> but we're still going to figure out how far away that's going to be. So he's there. He's very much there. <laughs> All right. I'm not opposed to starting C. and see if yeah, I think C's fair. Yeah. I think I, it's going to stay there. I just feel like, a- Aylor, are you going to put any, any, uh, any of the movies that didn't come out recently below it? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't thought about this at all. All right. All right. All right. I haven't watched a Star start Wars C. movie in like over a year. I'm going to be start honest. C. All right. Empire Strikes Back. Number I feel five. like that's a solid A tier. Yeah. It's got to uh, be A I, or S. I think people yeah. are going to be pissed if we don't put it in S, to be honest. I think this movie this is gets... the Luke, I am your father. I know it's not the line, but that's the biggest plot twist in... Star Wars, possibly movie history. I think so. I have it in A. I have it in A. I don't really care what popular opinion thinks. Um, 
I think that's based off of, of just when um, I saw it and I was just like, I had too much hype coming into it when I saw it instead of like getting hyped seeing it itself. Mm-hmm. So that's why it's not like, I don't have the fond memory of like, wow, I go back and watch this movie all the time. So that's why I don't have it in S. But it is a solid movie, especially Star Wars considering. So that's why I put it in A. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think um when when I was like more keyed in to people talking about Star Wars movies on the internet, this was like the trendy pick to have it like as the best Star Wars movie. But mm-hmm. at the end of the day, like it's it's a setup movie. It's to set up mm-hmm. the the um third film. It's like it's like you know, like Darth Vader tricks them into doing the thing. They're like trapped. They like they're down. the The main characters that we were introduced to are like kind of in a bad situation, and it doesn't end on like a good note. So I think like for like it serves its purpose like really well. I think like masterfully, but like as a movie, I'm like, oh, the good guys didn't really like win, which I I'm I don't hate student. that though. I don't hate yeah, that. Yeah, I kind of feel like that. Yeah. That, that makes it less predictable as a movie. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that's that's totally fair. That's totally fair. But just like just like on my like unbiased like first couple viewings of the film, I definitely was like you know, it felt like really bleak at the end. Mhm. Um but maybe that was the point and maybe that's what they want, wanted me to feel. So, you know, I don't know. Yeah, I, those are my thoughts. I'll, I'll let you guys hear this. S or A? I think it's a great movie. Hmm. I guess I'm kind of fine with either. Uh, yeah, I, I don't. I don't feel I strongly enough to. Yeah, I think I demand lean S, but if S, but like kind of right, right on the edge. But I don't really. I, I wouldn't really be upset by either. You know. Yeah. Agreed. Sure. All right, let's put it in A for now. We'll, we can always circle back. It's cool. You can always strike I, I, back if you. Will. I think it's. I think it's going to definitely stay either top of A or move to S by the end of this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just think, looking yeah. at the other movies involved, like I'm trying to think, like <laughs> what do I put above it? There's one specifically that I will die. Oh yeah, we'll for. get there. We'll get there. I think. <laughs> I think people will fight us if it's an A, which which is great. So let's continue. <laughs> um, all right, The Force Awakens. I'm cool with I that. Think, I think it's B. I think, it's I, think it's I was I was just bringing it onto the board, but I didn't mean to. I'm cool with it being B though. I think it's B. I think it's a good movie. Um, is it the first is it the first of the stand of the yeah trilogy? The oh yeah, I like I like that. I like that one. The general complaint seemed to be that it was like the same formula as A New Hope, and I think that's exactly what they were trying to do, and I think they did a good job of that. Yeah, and that awards I- it a B. I feel I'm gonna like, say I'm gonna say I personally I have this in A. I love this movie. I I I'm like it too. So I like it of, too. I'm fine with it being in A. I felt like they had like I don't I felt like they introduced the characters really well and like made me enjoy all of the characters and like mm-hmm. made me care about when like some characters were maybe in it less in the next two movies. I don't know. I just felt like I I got a connection to the to the to the new trilogy from it. Yeah, I, mm-hmm. it. I think I liked it the most of any of the three for sure. Yeah, they yes, I agree with that. I think they had the biggest they had the biggest task of like making a movie ever, mm-hmm. which is like you have to follow up <laughs> all of Star Wars and like make a yeah. worthwhile movie, which is like really fucking hard to do. I um not to I'm like put it in a. Yeah, I, I'm I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I I really enjoyed the movie just personally. Like I remember being in high school and I was taking a film class at the time, and like we got to go on a field trip to go see the movie in the theater on like a Wednesday, like in the middle of the day. That was the first time I saw it, and um, it's there's just like something special about that to me. So I also have my. I will say, I had a knee injury at the time from frisbee. And I on my second viewing of it in the theaters, I had a um a knee wrap on my leg, but I stupidly put a pair of pants over it, mm. and it was really itchy. So the second <laughs> time I saw the movie, I was like in a bad place, and I was really itchy, and it still yep. was a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so, that's so a I lot. think A is good. So I think A is good. I'll put it in A. 
I remember seeing it in theaters, but I have like no idea who I was with or what context. I only remember the context of when I saw Rogue One, but I'll get to that later. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, moving on. I don't even know what the fuck this one's called. The Last Jedi. I believe I have a poster. Oh, sure. no, my girlfriend made me throw it away. So uh, let me cook. <laughs> let me cook for a second. Ryan cook. We we all except I don't. Joe, I don't think you were there just because this is in New Orleans, but we all saw The Last Jedi together. And whatever our opinions were, like, after a second viewing or a month later, I just recall walking out of that theater and we were all like, that was fucking insane. Like, it was such a great movie-going experience. Like, just yeah. from first watch, it was just like, mm-hmm. holy shit, Agreed. it was awesome, blah, blah, blah. Looking at the trilogy, trilogy as a whole, it really, I mean, I don't want to get into the next movie so soon because it's our, we still got to talk about it, but like it really makes me disappointed in the next movie. But, you know, just from that, I just, that, that's my memory of seeing that movie was like, holy shit, that was fucking awesome. Mm-hmm. And we can talk about, you know, why the fuck was Luke Skywalker like abandoning the entire rebellion? That's fucking weird. But I think that's from the first movie and the trilogy as a whole's fault, not really The Last mm-hmm. Jedi. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. So this movie cooked. This movie cooked hard. I don't mm. – I I I agree with you, Ryan. I, like – I fully agree. I don't um, – yeah, I, I think it's unfair to, like, demerit this movie based on how the next movie turned out. Yeah. Because when we saw that in the theaters, I walked away and I was like – you know, cool. Like, obviously, I went online. I, I like there were like a bunch of Reddit threads about like people commenting on the movie, and they had some good points about like where it fell short. But like, my experience in the theater with my friends was like, this was a banger, personally. Um, and I thought I thought that they like they laid it up is my thing. Like they laid like that's what the third that's what the second movie in a series should be is like a layup. And then the third mm-hmm. should be a dunk, right? Mm-hmm. And this one was a <laughs> good airball. The dunk. This is a good. To me, it was a good like layup. But the, I mean, it was trying to be fancy. It was like off the board, boom, and then someone should be there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Was... And um, so for that, for, like to that, uh, with that context, I enjoyed it a lot on my first watch. Personally, was this the one with Snoke, and like Snoke gets killed at the end of it? Yeah. Yeah. I think I was in New Orleans. Ooh. I think I watched it in New Orleans. I think I was there. Did we watch it all what? together? I think I, was, so? I, it together? I think I was with you guys for that. Yeah. Okay, I have a picture of us all in there. I'm gonna if if so, we're gonna put we're gonna insert photo here. Yeah, boom. Whoever's yeah. oh, this is me. Um, this is me. This is it's me. Definitely yeah. possible I wasn't, I guess. But <laughs> I'm Let pretty me, uh, I think you were. I think I think it's I, I kind of think I yeah, yeah, I kind of yeah, think yeah. I was because I remember seeing that in theaters, and there's no way I would have done that with my college friends. I'm gonna say well, my from, my piece yeah. on this, which is that obviously it was super dope in the theaters, but I think irrespective of how the rest of the trilogy played out, I don't um I don't know that I would be psyched to pick this one to watch again. That's valid. I mean, that's valid. So, I, haven't, I I haven't watched it in years, to be honest. I haven't. Yeah, like looking at this right now, the movies I see in A, I'm like, oh, I would watch that, but I wouldn't just go watch The Last Jedi personally. Mm. If you're if you're an OG, if you're an OG, then you you've seen the the Last Jedi poster that I had in my <laughs> in my Zoom background for like many years that I yeah. stole out of the two lane like dining hall many many years ago that i that i have sported i've i've repped them so hard but you know the okay. movie is the movie is what it is all right I'm, are we are we I'm okay thinking, with b are we on a or i'm super cool with b i'm good with that i'm thinking now that this is the movie that we all got tickets to thought it was on a specific day we actually had tickets to the next day. I remember that. And my flight was uh, no, that was tickets. No, that was um, was that the t- the room the room? Yeah, but that the, was the uh, uh, the disaster artist. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Um, <laughs> I visited you guys so many times. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to keep All track. Right. Anyway, moving on. So um, I did I did find the picture, and Joe, you are not in it, but I'll just Photoshop him in. We'll Photoshop you in. That was also the time when we were 
just in love with Daisy Ridley and we were photoshopping ourselves. I do remember that. Was- um, what is this? New Hope? S, 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 top of S. Top yeah, of S. easy. This is the, no this discussion. Is the this is the best film. All right, Jar Jar. I mean, well, well, does anyone have anything to say about that film before we like move on? Solid I have flip. something to say about your comment, but nothing about it being an S. Go ahead, Ryan. Oh, no, we'll get to that at a, at a future film. All right. Okay. Um, Solid flick. It, it's it's the best one in my opinion. The first one, I don't know. I feel I feel like it's I feel like it speaks to the quality of the film that like I didn't grow up in the generation that was like the first to experience that movie and then saw all the other movies. Like I mm-hmm. I the first movie I saw was Attack of the Clones. Probably the second movie I saw was Revenge of the Sith, and then like at some point I saw A New Hope, and I. You know, so I've seen all the star- I've seen all the movies on this tier list, and I I think this this is the best one, personally. I yeah I agree with you. I think the first one I saw was Revenge of the Sith because my dad snuck us into it after we went and saw Hoodwinked, and then he fell asleep, mm. and so we stayed for the rest of it. Uh, we are intensely in the same like age group. <laughs> like, <laughs> that sounds so. It sounds like something uh, that happened to me. And yeah, I totally agree that uh, A New Hope is the best one. I feel like it's, I feel like it's the one I've seen the most times. And yeah. like, same. I like with like Harry Potter. Like I've probably seen the first one the most times, and it just like loses strength. It's just like I don't want to watch the first Harry Potter ever again. And like, <laughs> it's not because it's bad. It's just like I've seen it like ten times, and it like lost everything. <laughs> but like, I would watch A New Hope any day of the week. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Good movie. Speaking of the first one, episode one. Mm. Polarizing because we've got Jar Jar, but we also have Darth Maul and that fight scene, which was like mm. so sick. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And the it, what's the name of the it's it's like this like really intense like orchestral yeah. track duel of the fates, I think. It's yeah, called. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Unbelievable. On yeah. fun, like some of the best music in the entire series. Oh, is this one with pod racing too? Yeah, yeah. this is with with young Annie. Some of the best memes. Yeah, Dude. we're watching this movie. I mean, if if anyone else is down, I'm down to watch this movie after we're done. So. <laughs> Honestly, um, yeah, I'll I have just, it over just, Last Jedi, so I'm just gonna. I, just I would too. I would... Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, it's B. It's B. It's definitely B. All right. Moving on. <laughs> uh, Return of the Jedi. Probably A. Um, I would put this... Ooh, this is really, really tough. I think this is what might, like... We might lose some fans over where we put these three <laughs> movies in A. I'm thinking, I'm thinking top of B. Oh, yeah? That's just me. I, it's gotta be. It's gotta be above episode one. I think. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Wait, it does. Actually, no. It, it belongs in A. No, but it, I think it, being bottom A. I think bottom A is exactly where it belongs. Yeah. Okay, I'm with that. This is. This is the one with the younglings. No, no, no. no, no. This is no, the last no. of the is... original trilogy with like the Ewoks and the. Oh. Um, okay, okay, okay. All that stuff. Oh, Joe, we're about to have a huge disagreement coming up. Darth Vader dying is pretty emotional. I it. Um, I think that this movie was like, it was a cherry on top of the original trilogy, which I think was like, just it, sure. It's yeah. I mean that that that's what defined all of Star Wars, Star Star Wars. Star Wars. Um, yeah, it, it was, you, you it, can't keep it out of A. I just I feel. Yeah, yeah you can't I keep it out of A. I mean, The Force Awakens, like to us as like the age group that we're in, like The Force Awakens was really like important. Um, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to decide if it's above a for, the Force Awakens mm. or not. I, I'm cool I, with I, bottom of A. I think I'm, you know, uh, yeah. showing our yeah. age there yeah. is fine. Let's do it. Maybe people maybe people will talk. People about would it disagree there. with that, but. Fuck yeah, the, Ewok, like, the Ewoks were dumb too. Though. <laughs> I feel like I'm positive about this movie, but just like don't feel that strongly. 
Yeah, I've got I've got Rogue One and S tier. That's just I'm me. I'm pro Rogue One. I'm pro Rogue One. I, I'm S tier. Rogue, Rogue One was awesome. Rogue I really like awesome. Rogue One. Rogue One, I rewatched and like it's so sick. I it's like it's so cool to be outside of like the main cast and the main storyline, and they did it so fucking well. And it paralleled such an important so, moment too. Uh, my one, my one, I, plea, I, my one, my one plea to um against Rogue One in favor of like really greasy, stupid Star Wars fans that I like really don't associate with and don't uh like I think they're uh stupid. But um Rogue One did introduce a a type of ship that was like the the like the barrage ship that just like mm-hmm. destroyed that one ship. And then everyone was like, well, if they had the barrage ship the whole time before their original trilogy, why didn't they just use that later? Like, it just ruined the entire, like, canon of Star Wars. To which I say, Mm. like, get over it. You know? (laughs) Sorry. Clip it. Clip it. Um, I don't care. Um, Find something else to be interested in. And to... Well, you know whatever that, that 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 was too callous but um i enjoyed the movie a lot i'm just trying to play devil's advocate okay for if, it if we want a devil's advocate here allow me go ahead take the stage <laughs> i am firmly aware that everyone i've spoken to ever who has seen this movie is like oh my god what a good movie yes i think it's boring i don't care for it Ooh, I'm over it. I don't Sam. like it. Sam, I'm, I love I'm it. whatever with it. I don't care about it. I love it. It could not exist, and I would not give a shit. That's but that's because it's a standalone. Like that's what the standalones are. Like they could not exist. It wouldn't change a lot. It doesn't mean it's a bad movie. No, I'm not saying it like that. I'm just saying like I don't like. I feel like I I would like to have been affected by it, and I was not. I thought it was boring and I didn't care about oh. it. So you think that And I know die. I'm I'm possibly the only person in the entire world who feels that way, but Sam, I'm not I'm not um you're not the only one who is like like I I I I in some ways relate to that opinion where I'm like I well, like my initial watch of the film after seeing it in theaters was like that was a great movie you know, it wasn't the best Star Wars movie I've ever seen, you know, but it filled in some cool gaps. In um, my initial watch of it, I fell asleep. So. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, yes. if we want to if we want to get some like Sam. we had just seen <laughs> La La Land in theaters, <laughs> yeah. then went to see Rogue One right after. I fell I fell asleep. Sam, are you, so are La La Land put you made you tired. It put you to sleep and then yeah, yeah it was kind of like it. you reach like a high and then you like come down from it and then it's just like rogue one <laughs> <laughs> sam is this is this b for you is this no a? i'm not allowing that um but i like rogue one I, i'm me also, me I personally like if i'm doing this yeah i would have it in b i'm so wow. like meh on it just i don't know i'm like it doesn't about... hit it doesn't hit the Star Wars note for me. And obviously I watch a Star Wars movie to to hit the Star Wars note. And if I want to watch like a good movie, I'll watch not a Star Wars movie. You know? What about bottom of a <laughs> yeah. what about bottom of a below? I don't I don't need to like influence it this hard. I'm just like that's I'm just I'm... speaking my truth. No, I I'm okay I... with top of A. I'm okay with top of A. I'm not okay with bottom of A. Ooh, I don't think it's better than well. We I, currently have it in S before I don't Sam's great. No, that's a good point, Ryan. I don't think it's what well. We I just to? brought it up there because you said it. Yeah, 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 you know what? It wasn't Let's there. put a top of A. Let's put a top of A. I don't think it should be above Empire Strikes Back. Personally, we but, can put but, Empire. Will we get more clicks? Can... How many clicks though? Yeah, keep it up. Well, also, I, don't know. I mean, people Sam's people Sam's love Rogue One. Doesn't people determine love Rogue where it goes. Three people are against him. Yeah, our our I put audience. It there. Okay, I'm okay. just saying, people. Yeah, people love Rogue One. No, I'm yelling one. at Aelus, gonna... Sam, not you. Aelus, oh, we all agreed to put it high. Let's keep it high. All uh, right. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. It's good. No, no, no. Here's what I'm thinking. I think our audience would be more upset if we put it below Empire. So I think it should be below Empire. 
I disagree <laughs> with that. Well, actually, I don't disagree with that. Is, gen- but... is general consensus Rogue One is like one of the best films? Yeah. No. It's just consensus yeah. that it's a good film. It's a it's a good film. It's good. It's good. I, I haven't seen it in a couple of years. Um, it's fine. A, a is, I've, is I don't fine. think I've a ever fine. spoken to someone about Rogue One without them being like, yeah, it's like the best or one of the best Star Wars. It's movies. good. It's it's a great movie. Um, okay, I'm I'm cool with this. Let's uh, let's drop it for the clicks. I don't care. No, no, let's no we should do do what we feel. My thing is um, like I don't know, I don't know. Like, is it better for the clicks if it's higher, or is it better for the <laughs> clicks right, if it's lower? Like, clicks. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> let's put a new hope in in C tier. <laughs> <laughs> that we get clicks. Yes. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, this is all I care about. This is S. This movie is this S. Is, this is top of S. This, this is the is, best Star Wars movie. This. It's, this movie is Star Wars. If you don't agree with that, then we don't have the same like life experience. I'm sorry. Yeah. Andrew, but this, earlier this is Star you, Wars. When you said New Hope was the best film, I was sitting back. I was like grinding my teeth. I was like, I'm gonna <laughs> have a bomb. This is the okay. New Hope is the best film, except this is the most fun film to watch mm-hmm. and drink to. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Which is we value that very highly. <laughs> can we watch that one after this instead? Yes. Ooh. Oh my god. Can we watch? Can we watch ROTS right now? Yeah. Like after this. Yeah. yeah. We could. Yes. No. I've seen I've seen ROTS yes. so many times. Can we, so can we please? Yep. Right, can we please? Yeah. Can we can we please watch it after this and then we can do our draft finally? That's <laughs> all I want to do. That's all yeah. I want to do. <laughs> Right. We don't have to talk about the draft. We can just watch it, enjoy it, but like but, quietly keep our. Bef- before we do that, let's let's talk about a couple things from this movie. Um, yes, please. Oh my god, the memes off the chart. Um, yeah. C3PO just oh, being C3PO. Like this movie, yes. this movie yes. brings back so many memories, makes me feel so many things. I, I, I never, I haven't found a movie that brings me so much joy and laughter. Just because this movie is so dumb. <laughs> it's the first uh, Star Wars. It's the first yeah. Star Wars movie that I saw in theaters. So mm-hmm. I said at the very start of this that I think Attack of the Clones was the first movie I saw. Like this first Star Wars movie that I saw. And then I think maybe somewhere in between I saw like uh, A New Hope and Empire like in between there on dvd or something but this is the first movie that i was like conscious of like movies and saw it in a movie theater yeah and that that just like is it's just hard to like beat that you know i mean to this day i remember how the anakin obi-wan lava fight scene made me feel when i was you know, eight years old or whatever in the movie yeah. theater. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that feeling. Yeah, definitely. I have I, I have possibly never been so affected by a film in my entire life. <laughs> mm-hmm. Except for the yeah. SpongeBob movie. <laughs> right. Yeah. To, to me, yeah. to me, the most like impactful movies of my life have been the SpongeBob movie number <laughs> one and Revenge of the Sith number two. <laughs> Which says a lot. Like that says a lot about how important about you. Is. Yeah, it explains a lot. It explains a lot. <laughs> yeah. My my brain my brain is a little bit broken in in lots of ways. Um, yeah, and this is <laughs> that's, that's, that's an example of 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 that. But I I remember to this day freshman year. The scene is we're in Butler. We're in Sam's dorm room with Jackson. It's Alu's there, Kyle's there, and we we're doing Revenge of the Sith drinking game. And I have a bottle of wine, and we have all these rules that like, all right, this happens, this happens, everyone drinks or whatever. And then it's like, okay, everyone has a specific rule, and my rule was C three PO being a bitch. And C three PO is a bitch. A lot. The entire movie. <laughs> the entire I think movie. I, I think I finished my bottle of wine within the first half of the movie, and I was like, "Guys, I'm fucked." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> awesome. I, I I will say, um, to a more like personal note, um, I remember watching Revenge of the Sith when, like, 
Oh yeah, it wasn't exactly this date, but it was the day before Mardi Gras, our freshman year of college. Mm -hmm. And today, right now, is the day before Mardi Gras. <gasps> right now. I remember and the that. last I and remember we, that that was in Monroe. And we went to your dorm your freshman dorm room, Ryan, and we we tried to watch the entirety of Revenge of the Sith, and we were so tired and sleepy that we fell asleep. But we made it to like 4 30 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. And we almost finished it. Um and we were trying to do like a like multiple movies to stay up until Tequila Sunrise, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were trying to we were trying to like make ourselves stay awake. So we were watching like stupid movies, and this is this is like the last one that like we were like fighting to stay awake and we all fell asleep. <laughs> yeah um and now and it's the same it's like a very similar situation right now it's it's literally like mardi gras is tomorrow so i'm down i i'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying i'm just saying i'm down i'm down to bring it full circle and watch this movie tonight um all right oh, man. before we get there we got two more movies to to tear we got the han solo movie bottom c yeah mm, uh, i'll let you guys go i like this movie i don't know I, don't, I thought it was just like fine. Yeah, I agree. Just fine. I think it's B. I think it's better than Attack of the Clones, but I wouldn't yeah. put it above. I mean, mm -hmm. I, okay. I liked this movie. Okay. okay. I haven't seen it since I think I we saw it in theaters. So. Yeah, I've seen it once. Donald Glover's in it. That was the good part, I remember. Donald Glover was good. I saw it yeah. in a the theater alone. I like went to the theaters alone to watch it. And I liked it. Okay. And All I, right. I had no Where do you one want around it? me. I liked it. It actually, okay. So Amelia Clark was in Solo, and I hadn't seen mm. Game of Thrones before I saw Solo, which is stupid. And it made me be like, Amelia Clark was dope in this movie. I'm going to watch Game of Thrones now. This movie got me into Game of Thrones. So. So. I think it's not that bad. I think it's like B, like, like right where it is is like fine for me. Like I'm right okay. Where it is is fine for me. Right. This cool is me. D. This this is the word. May, may, like do D we, and then do below. Add a tier? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Seattle tier. Seattle. Yeah, Seattle. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Seattle yeah, yeah. <laughs> and put in the Seattle <laughs> tier. <laughs> we can't post this with a Seattle tier, man. <laughs> Why not? You oh, can say man. you can yeah. say Seattle in like parentheses poop and then put it. <laughs> yeah, that makes it better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't even want to. I don't even want to give this film like more. Yeah, let's not even talk about it. Like, it just... Um, this has been a regular length episode of. <laughs> I'm open. <laughs> <laughs> um. So quick. Yeah, but that was that was a good one. I I I I think I like our our tier list here. Yeah. I'm I'm too. happy with this. I think the Star Wars can be really polarizing, but I think the fact that we all had like similar experiences with all the movies, just yeah. given like our demographic, um, I think like I'm surprised at how little argument there was. Honestly, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right, buy our merch. Um. Yeah, I'm open. Nope, I'm yeah, open. Uh, look, look forward to the new T-shirts. The Seattle tier T-shirts coming soon. 